Oh, that smells good. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So, we're gonna be building the Tahoe motor today, so let's take a peek. All right, so we got the engine on the motor stand, so what's going on, dude? Hi. Hi. What's up, bud? Hey, buddy. I don't really know. So, we're assembling the 5.3 for the old um, Tahoe. Yeah. We just put, uh, you know, bearings and some goo in there. Can't really remember how it came apart. I think it apart about eight months ago. Don't you love that? Yeah. So, no, it's going together. Should have it together in a couple hours. Minus the cam. So, we'll see. So it'll be running tomorrow, right? Oh, uh, I wish. <laughs> if I had parts, probably. So we got the crank all torqued down, and uh, we're gonna have a running motor tonight, right? No. <laughs> no. So, not. yeah, we're gonna check some tolerances real quick with the end play, and uh, I mean it doesn't matter if we check or not. It's, it's not, an LS. It's not coming back apart. <laughs> so send so, it. Yeah, I mean it's an LS, so it should it should be fine no matter what. No, it's I mean, all brand new, everything. So. We'll see. All right, guys. So we went ahead and gapped all the rings uh, to spec. So, what yeah. do you think? It's coming along. We gapped them. What? They were 28, 28, right? 28. Yeah. So that's like a good medium for like. I mean, that's that's what the internet gods say. So, for pretty much anything, boost, nitrous, from what I read. Uh, so the truck probably have a little bit more blow by than like like you said, like a normal NA truck. Um, but it's it'll be safe for whatever I decide to do with it. So that's what we went with. Yeah. So they all came out pretty nice. And definitely, we did a, a, a DIY uh, hot tank and I have to say the piston and rods, I mean, for a 300,000 mile motor, they look pretty damn good. So. Yeah. So we're gonna pop them in now. Um, hopefully they don't, we don't break a ring or something. Yeah. Kind of sketched out, but uh, 
we'll pop them in and then I think that's all we're going to do today. Wrap it back up with trash bags and put it in the corner. Yeah. Until next time. Cool. Let's do it. guys I hope you enjoyed the clip so far but the motors all buttoned up ready to go and uh, so are you ready for some boost or what man we're ready for something I don't know if it's gonna get a turbo right away I don't even think I told him did I tell him yet yeah told him what we might not be doing with it no so um, thinking about getting a 6.0 and uh, getting it built like built built and putting this in the truck in a with a cam and uh, you know a nice little tune maybe like a small shot of nitrous or something with the 408 just get everything in the truck buttoned up running driving and have the the 6.0 built for boost that way I can save up some money and uh, buy like a legit turbo kit instead of trying to slap one together um, I don't know I think I don't know we'll see maybe that that might happen I might just buy a kit slap it on here turn it down a little bit until the 6.0 is built uh, there were some imperfections in this block and stuff that I didn't like to begin with like a 300,000 mile block I mean it's good it would probably last forever normal circumstances but um, we'll see what happens I probably just I might boost it I might spray it might just put it in the truck and get it running with a haul gas cam. I don't know yet, but it, it is going back in the truck within the next couple weeks. Going to order the cam and the valve train tonight, and that, I mean that's all I need. That's all I have everything else. So within a week or two, this thing should be firing back up. So yeah, and if you need any assembly work, just go ahead and uh, plug your info. I know you don't want to be on camera and everything, but go ahead and plug your info real quick. It's uh, HNK underscore performance on Instagram, HNK performance on Facebook. Contact me anytime. 
Yeah, so he, he does a lot of uh, VQ builds. Uh, it, well, any machine work, you know, he can get it done. Uh, huge thanks to him, you know. So we got this thing gliding. Probably, so He's probably gonna build the 6.0 for me, I think. Sweet. Probably send it down to him and just literally, I never had like a built motor, just do it. Like a little bit here and there, like build a, a motor you never have to worry about. Or, right. you know, takes a little bit of the stress away from what we're trying to do. But we'll see how far we can push it with this one. Um, I might just send it. Pretty much what I've been doing this entire build, just sending it. <laughs> so, like I said, we'll we'll see. I mean, I think it'll do fine. Um, it's probably not going to make the, the thousand or an eight hundred or whatever. I mean, that, that's just going to be a process build. So yeah. So it's, it's I think this will make a good solid, like six hundred daily. But I think that's a good number. Even if I spray it, it'll probably still make five six hundred. So yeah. it, it's, I mean, it's ready for it. So the rings are gapped, everything's done. Um, nice set of heads on it. We'll see what happens. I, I don't know what way I'm gonna go with it yet. I don't wanna, I don't wanna chimp out and like fab up some hacky turbo hot side that's ugly and it's leaking everywhere. I'd rather just save the money, do it all right the first time. True. So, I mean, I might just order, I don't know yet. We'll see in the next couple episodes on this build. So it's either gonna get like, you know, sprayed, with, like a nice NA build with a little bit of nitrous on it just to get me by until the 6.0 is built, or I might just throw it in NA and put all that money towards the turbo kit. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think. Yeah, definitely comment down below what you wanna see out of this build. So, until next time. Yeah. All right guys, I appreciate you watching today. Definitely leave a comment down below where you wanna see this build go. And, uh, We'll see you next time.